Hello everybody, I would like to make a follow-up video about noise test I did between Bardar and Gentle Typhoon fans. Some of you noticed that it seems like abnormal amount of noise coming of Bardar 1150 model. Uh, it also sounds a little bit high for me and some of you recommended to maybe to pull another fan and see maybe it was just uh, abnormal not defective, but not the perfect unit, so to speak. So what I did, I pulled absolutely different brand new fan out of stack I have, and we'll retest it and see if uh, we get any uh, different numbers from what we had before, which I think is a fair ask. Another thing that some of you also asked to look at Wardar uh, Furious, which is 3000 RPM. So I pulled this one too, but in order to make some sort of point of comparison, I harvested a gentle typhoon 3000 rpm from my uh, venom build so we compare those two because of the similar models another thing i would like to retest uh, quickly and see if there any difference uh, for the gentle typhoon 2150 i tested you remember it was brownish and hanover tested it for me it has a pretty thick layer of paint because it's prime and and paint so it, it's fun to look great but I think the uh, blades might uh, be slightly different shape from original and uh, I have a little bit less painted model here again I pulled it from Venom I just sprayed one la a layer of um, black paint just to kill um, this uh, silver blades that I didn't like but I think the shape of the blade are quite a bit more close to what is the uh, original Gen Typhoon has and as they coming back pretty soon in both the frozen CPU and DAS mode um, like it's valid model to test because you can basically have it in your system pretty shortly another recommendation that I got over last video some of you asked to look at Nocture fans so I got 2000 RPM industrial fan um, NFF12 and it falls the same speed category as a gentle typhoon and wardar we tested last time so we basically will add it and see how it's stuck versus uh, those two that we had before uh, of course i would like to stress one more time i just do this open air test um, just for fun of it to hear how different fans uh, sounds and see what kind of noise they produce but um, I have a full intention to put all the fans I'm talking about here on the radiators because that's what basically everybody of us after and we'll see what kind of performance um, they will produce for us but uh, noise characteristic and tone of the fan producing I think also important thing at least for some of you including myself so I think it's worthwhile to spend some time in doing so the top will stay exactly the same I keep it 15 centimeters from my measuring tool why is because I don't really have a noise insulation room I'm waiting here till the very end all neighbors left or all employees left I'm alone in the office I switch all, all heating off so I'm trying to create as quiet environment as I can but still it's not a proper environment to do so and I think that by, by measuring it's a little bit closer than recommended because I know for example uh, most manufacturer measure 25 or even 35 centimeters away from from the fan which is make numbers looks better but I think that um, if I put it too far it's my additional in, imperfection of the room will produce uh, less meaningful results so that's my l l line of thought that I have and that's why I'm kind of much closer to the fan than um, let's say it's normally done and that's why our numbers is higher so obviously we have like 50 and stuff like this uh, decibel but it's it's also because the distance is uh, shorter than in many other tests all right so I that's pretty much it I will make single angles this time don't want to make two cams for you I just will try to position everything such way that you can see both um, speed of the fan and number on a noise um, measuring device and uh, well that's it thank you for uh, bearing with me so so far while I keep uh, trying to explain what I'm doing and let's just get back to numbers